Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And Dad. For Boog and Dad TV. And today we're going to be reviewing the Star Wars The Mandalorian Stormtrooper Transporter. Ta da! Right here. Yeah, we got this in. Uh, we ordered it from Entertainment Earth. It came in, I don't know, about a week ago or so. So there. It came in. Been longer than that? Mm. Maybe a week. Yeah, so a couple days. yeah, it was a pre-order, um, so uh, but they get more stock in. We got ours out. Uh, we'll show you the box first. Um, this is a very cool vehicle. It's around seventy dollars, which you know for this new vintage collection stuff. Obviously, the prices have just gone up. Um, I know they made this once before uh, in you know for the original movies and uh, uh, I guess it was about probably early eighties. Uh, but this is a completely different vehicle. Um, this is the one that uh, that's shown in the Mandalorian. Uh, TV show, so uh, we'll give you a look at the box. The box is great as always. Got a nice little picture of it on the front there with all the, the troopers. Of course, vintage collection, Mandalorian. There's a picture of the side. Uh, the vehicle is really cool. It's got a lot of removable pieces, and you can, for as small as it is, you can actually tote a lot of stormtroopers, right, babe? Yeah, we yeah. actually play with the Tarachi. Yeah, you can actually almost have a full squadron show up here with it, which uh, is what happened when we were playing. Right, Boog? Yeah, and they stole Baby Yoda. Yeah, Mando was about to make his escape, and then no! And then they stole Baby Yoda. <laughs> they showed up and stole Baby Yoda! Yeah. yeah. Terrible. But now right, so we can show you. And then, of course, we've you will have to do a little bit of assembly with this. We've already put knives together to save us some time for the video. Well, um, but there's not much. There's, there's not much. Right. I'm going to tone this down a little bit because yeah. the glare. It's a little better like that. All right. Yeah, we've just put, it does not come with any troopers. Uh, we just put some of our uh, random ones that we have in there. Um, yeah, these are, honestly, I can't remember what these are from. I think most of them, I don't know, some of them are as old as the Clone, the Clone Wars movies. We've had, I've had a lot of troopers for a this long time. One, this one's actually a fake. Well, I'm going to lay them to the side so we can show you this, this one, shit. Man. This one's a fake. Oh, he's a fake? Yeah, this is Ken. Oh, okay, yeah. So the, actually, he's more of a recent one then because that's um, uh, uh, from the the Rebels TV show. Um, he's the Jedi Knight. That's him in disguise. What's his name? Ken. Ken? Well, I call him Ken. Ken? No, it's not Ken. Um, it'll come to me in a minute. But anyway. Yeah, so that's a newer one. Here's another trooper. Right, another trooper. Uh, this is definitely from... Uh, this is a newer one. So he's long in the series of... Could have been the Solo... No, no, it shouldn't have been the Solo movie. His mask is too current for that. So he probably is a uh, Force Awakens <clears throat> trooper release. Who is he? It kind of looks like it. Oh, uh, let's see what his mask looks like here. You turn around? He's okay, so he's old school, so yeah. He may have been a Solo release, or he may be from... Um, he may be older than that. Yeah, it may be from like the 90s or something. Yeah. Like maybe so. maybe the, even the first Star Wars movie. Yeah, we just have a lot of troopers. So, That's you. That's you. show him off. He's also got a little bit of a different look. Where is he from? Uh, I'm not sure on him. And then there's this guy here. We have to do a little research. Just can't quite keep up with all the troopers. But he's one of my favorites. He's got a different look too. Of course, if you guys know where these are from, um, comment down below. Yeah, comment down below. Because we just collect random stormtroopers. We like stormtroopers. All right, well, I think that gets everybody out. Well, not quite. Everyone out of these sockets. Right, right out of these parts. So to go over the vehicle here, um, this is it. It is about 12 inches long. Um, <clears throat> you count the compartments here from the sides. It's about about seven inches wide. Uh, but you can see both sides have got room for a stormtrooper in each one, like we had before, which is um, really really cool. And then the paint job, get a little closer here, it's is <clears throat> it's excellent. Yeah, it's very dirty, very rusty looking, worn, used, just like we love about Star Wars. As you look at the top and the front. Cool thing about the front, dude, you want to show on the doors? Yeah. You got room for your drivers. Yeah, we've got somebody in there. It's a little tight for them, <clears throat> but they do fit. On it there. Oh, 
right? Now I can tell you guys something while I do this. Okay. Oh yeah, this one. This one's a newer one, so we don't really have to show this one off that much because we reviewed. Yeah, I think if you have you have some of the newer troopers with the bendable knees, uh, it's definitely easier to get them in the cockpit section for sure. Here we go. Um, oh yeah, he's one of our new guys. So. Yeah, we've done a review on him. This is uh, a couple of these guys, but he's the um, no uh, Memben, I think Trooper. Yeah, he's the Memben. Yeah, so he he does have the bendable knees. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's very very cool Trooper. Which I love. You don't have to take him out. Okay. He can stay. Him. Give him a little bend there. There you go. Nice. Got him. All right, and then again we have here. This is a Tatooine trooper. I recognize him. Um, very cool. And this is what the inside looks like. Right. I'll see if I can get the light on it there, so you guys can see a little bit as far as the inside goes. But it's definitely got an awesome cockpit. Um, these move the control arms for the ship. A lot of detail in there, which is really really nice. Even got some detail here on the door, and they've got a nice gunner here on the front. Of course, the other side, very similar to the to the other one. Uh, they've got the controls here, nice gunner on the door. But yeah, that's hard to sell in the video, but there's a lot of cool detail in there. Yeah. So, so even though this is not very big, uh, they definitely gave you the detail that, you, that you'd like. It's a really cool ship, and it's very sturdy, too. It feels like it is, it's, it's well built. And also, <clears> there's a little, there's a bed, but... Um, yeah. A lot of room inside for troopers. The back hatch opens up. Um, the top. The top um comes off. Right. It makes the access really easy. Oh, before we do that, let's show them this. Yeah. This pops up also. You got well, a nice. Actually, I think it's easier if you just pop this part off first. Oh, okay. Off we'll figure out how to get it off here eventually. Mm -hmm. There it comes. Oh, but first, it does have a little blaster. Yep, blaster on the top. Has to connect, and then, so, and then this part is a way so you can like have a trooper come out with a gun and go boom boom. Yeah, I love the hatch. Have somebody pop out of there, strip the bottom. Again, a lot of other details on the underside of the hatch or the hatch there. Just the inside. Yep. A lot of details down there. You even got some little seats. Um, not all of them pull out, but some of them do. Let's see if I can show you how the seats work here. Like these come down. Oh, yeah. Yep. So if you've got those stormtroopers with the knees, uh, the seat here, get some better light down there. The seat here uh, it folds down. They can actually sit in it. Or you can stand a whole bunch of them up in here. Same thing on this other side. Two more seats that slide down them down which is really neat see those down in there boo's going to show one off here so yeah there he is down in there sitting down in his chair waiting for battle right Let's see if there's anything else in here i want to show you uh, oh yeah down here on this end you can see this section is a weapon rack so it's a great place to store all your weapons you can just snap them right in there and then they're all ready to go and let's give you one last look at the bottom. Ta -da! Again, lots of details. Kind of pretty boring. Uh, yeah, but at least they gave me some details down yes. here. You know, a lot of ships they used to leave just blank. But the way this thing moves around, two small little wheels here. There's no electronics. Um, yeah, one more here. One more there. Um, oh, some sound effects would have been really cool with it. Yeah. But no such luck. You're just getting a look here with this guy. Uh -oh. But he's a great, um, he's a great piece. I think to have with the collection and definitely one that's fun to play with because yeah, everybody loves some troopers and now you got a way to get a whole bunch of them to your battle quickly. Pause. Real quick. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right, right. Oh yeah, we're still trying to get to that 15 subscribers. So guys, if we make it to 15 subscribers, we will do a giveaway on re -geese. Yes, we got re uh sealed in the box, ready to go. Yes. Uh, he'll be totally free as soon as we get to that 15th subscriber. We'll so, have a little drawing and so let you know who wins and get, so, collect the information and mail him out. So what you have to do is you have to subscribe to Big Good Dad TV. You have to like one of our Star Wars videos with this one in it. 
found, you have to comment down below saying that you want it. Right. So, I think that'll about wrap it up for our store, our troop transport vehicle here from the Vintage Collection. Uh, we love it. Highly recommend it if you want to, um, if it's something you want to purchase. Uh, like I said, it was a little high, 70 bucks. Um, you know, for something this small, it, it is high. I'm not going to lie. I, I would feel much more comfortable with this at about maybe 45 or something. But anyway, uh, is what it is, right? Nothing we can do about that. So if you want it, uh, Entertainment Earth has them in stock, or at least they did as a week ago. So you can get on there and get yours ordered. Hope you liked the video. If you guys make us subscribe to Booger Dad TV for some more awesome toy fun. Bye. See you next time.